fast the prime is compared to the old calculators. Um, there's something called the Savage algorithm, so I thought I'd try to make a funny title out of it. This really does it. There's something called the Savage benchmark. It really isn't a good benchmark, but it's so easy to understand uh, that I use it a lot. Um, it consists of calculating that expression, 1 plus tan a tan x plus square root square of x. In other words, it goes through all these functions and then inverts them and sees how accurate the result is. And it does it <coughs> 2,499 times. Uh, so it should, at the end, if you start with 1, come up with 2,500. Uh, and if you use a 30-digit accuracy Fortran or C uh, on a workstation, it'll do that because those workstations have capacity to do it on huge uh, degree of precision. Uh, but on the 50G, the 48G, and so on, I used that program. Uh, I step this, store it. In other words, store what you've already got on the stack, uh, get ticks, uh, and then run through this 2,499 times, uh, get the ticks again, uh, and display the time it took, uh, and then replace the stack. On the 48SX, this took 195 seconds. On the 48GX, which came three years later, it took 115. The 48GX basically had the processor running twice as fast, but not everything was quite twice as fast. The 49G, six years later, was very little improvement. Uh, I found that a little surprising. Was it already emulating? No. It was, it was still the running the same answer. Saturn, wasn't it? Yeah. The 50G, another seven years on, half the time again. Um, I haven't run it on a 49G Plus. Uh, I picked it up and the batteries were dead and I didn't have the time before coming here to try it. It's the same. same it, would be yeah, it would be, yeah, okay. All gave uh, the same result, 2499 and then 0.999, so it's accurate, the, the three decimal digits. In fact, every calculator based on the Saturn processor that I've ever tried, the 27S, I ran it on a 21. Uh, the the later 21, not the original one we've been talking about mm -hmm. yesterday, and they all give exactly the same result, back to the 71B. So, consistent. Okay, to run it on the prime, well, you immediately see that the prime has a language that is for teaching people to program. It's not a key code language. But you get, well, you calculate the same formula. On the prime, it took just over half a second. <laughs> <laughs> so whereas the previous top of the range models about every five years, on average, improved by a factor of two, the prime has improved by a factor of over 100. Hmm. I actually updated my prime after running this, and it now takes 0.51 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what you've done, Tim, but you've even brought the mathematics in it, too, in the latest. The, the thing that people don't really recognize, I think, enough is that everything that you had to previously step down into assembly to do is slower than the user language on Prime. The one place that that falls apart is the screen, because pixels get big quickly. Um, but, you know, so if you could do a program in assembly, yes, you could do it directly and you could fine tune it get it amazingly perfect on the old calculators, and it's, chances are it's still going to run slower than just in the user language. There's a few cases where that's not the case, but you know, we view that the, the requirement of we have to have assembly or C really is not the requirement people are after. What they want is, I want to have a way to tie in, override the internal guts of the system and make it behave more the way I want. And if we allow that, that will you know, solve a lot of the complaints. Now, you still won't be able to, for example, turn it into a Game Boy emulator using that. It, it would work, it would just be slow. And you can't do heavy duty numerical simulations. You know, the instant now all of a sudden we have megabytes of RAM, people start saying, well, why can't I do a matrix of you know, a million by a million numbers and invert it? So, you know, no matter how good it gets, it's never good enough. <laughs> it, it feels like a computer or it feels like a miniature graphics workstation these days, not just like a calculator. But it's not a graphics workstation. 
it's it's a teaching tool. It's great. As I say, the HP Prime rules. Yeah. Um, extra remarks. It has a time program command, which is really nice. You just give it the name of the program and you time it. But I wanted to time just the loop, not, not the rest of the bits and pieces, which would probably take 0.01 seconds. On the Prime, ticks gives the number of milliseconds since the calculator was reset. If you're going to play this game using a better uh, benchmark, remember you divide the difference in ticks by 1,000, not by 8192. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that makes much difference as long as you remember it. Uh, a problem I have, and I don't know if it's a feature or a bug or intentional, I wanted to use the iterate command. It's a beautiful command uh, on the prime language. You say iterate this expression using this variable, which is replaced by its next value repeatedly, starting with an initial value for however long you want to do it. Except that if you try to iterate it more than 200 times, it comes back with a message saying illegal input value. Tim, is there a good reason why the iterate command can only iterate up to 200 times? I, I don't think it does. It's been fixed. I think there's something else going on there. It's, it's been fixed? Exactly. Not in the version I picked up. It's, it's in the new beta version then. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Okay, I, I, I forgot. It was probably something else. So, Joe, you said you tried it, but it works. Yeah, I just went 1 to 20,000. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. So, okay, I'm not sure what the problem is. Yeah. 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 Okay, I mean, I think it was possibly a test feature to stop people going into iterations of a million times and then complaining that the machine hasn't finished. I'm guessing it was just something unintentional somewhere. I don't think I remember any sort of restriction on that. Oh, right, so okay. It was probably a bug on earlier revisions. I don't know about the current one. Well, as Joe says. To, so show me your, your command uh, afterwards and we'll give it a try. And see okay, see. I'll do that. So. That's beautiful. Otherwise, it felt like saying you're allowed to have four loops which iterate as long as you often, as long as it's no more than 200 times. And, you know, if, it, if this was not an iterate command but a recurse command, then I'd understand it having some limit because you don't want to fill the stack up. But this is iterate, not recurse. It may be that someone originally wrote a recurse command and put a 200 limitation on it. Uh, and then it just got left over. But uh, that's all it is. Anyway, the Prime is beautiful. It's, it's not a 50G. It's not a 50G+, plus, but it is a beautiful machine, enormously rapid. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Tim, and thank the team for the Prime. And that's it. Thanks, folks.